Lower your child's risk of overdosing by building up their heroin tolerance. <laughs> Who made this meme? What kind of savage are you? Coming in. Yeah. Flex. Number 10. This is memes number 10. I can't believe we did 10 of the series. Let's read some memes. Let's watch some memes. Let's react to some memes. I don't know what I'm saying. It's kind of late. Let's have a good time. Woman, I need a drug to increase my reflexes. Doctor, with great reflexes come great response ability. Dad joke. Get well soon, Mark Zuckerberg. I guess it kind of looks like Mark Zuckerberg. I'm not buying it. I think the hairline just kind of looks like him in the eyes, but that's about it. He has a weird hairline. Doctor, what happens after we die? We clean the bed and admit a new patient. Don't say that. Anti-vax kid in the pool. Marco, <laughs> polio. I wish I was like an electron microscope expert to see if that really is polio. Cause that could be like lint under electron microscope. And I would think it looks like polio. See, doctors don't know everything, but we do know that if you don't get your vaccines, you can get serious diseases. Maybe not polio, but maybe like the flu, measles, mumps, rubella, tetanus, varicella, pneumococcal infection. All right, sorry. Prostitutes, doctors, TSA agents make more per hour than you do all day. <laughs> Okay, doctors and prostitutes. Get paid to touch your junk. Actually, all three of them. Okay, I see the overlap. Doctors and TSA agents wear blue latex gloves. <laughs> oh, that's kind of messed up that they're comparing TSA agents to prostitutes as both having very little training. I'm gonna disagree with that. I think they require training. Not as much training as doctors, but still not very little. Give them some credit. Come on. Patient with hemochromatosis. I am Iron Man. <laughs> It's a disease where you have extra iron and it actually affects your liver in a negative way. It's quite dangerous. And of all the things that we used to do back in the day that I like to pick on, bloodletting, essentially letting a person bleed out, is one of them. However, just how a broken clock is right twice a day, can't believe I had to think about that. Our old archaic medical procedures were right sometimes too, and bloodletting works for hemochromatosis. That's actually one of the treatments for it. Medicine commercial. Side effects may include internal bleeding, multiple organ failure, and instant death. People in the commercial. <laughs> Joker. There's only two countries, I think, in the entire world where they allow direct-to-consumer advertising from pharma, United States, and New Zealand. Why that's the case, it blows my mind. Let's get that out of there. It doesn't help anybody. Patients shouldn't be dictating what kind of medications they get. Doctors should give patients options and then together they can come to a mutual decision. But yeah, some of the side effects are scary. Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions, but you don't have to slap them. <laughs> oh my God. I heard the clicks, they were two inches deep. Looks like about 100 beats per minute, looks solid. Don't slap anybody. There's no need to slap anybody. That's unnecessary, don't be funny. You're saving a person's life. Kind of funny. Dr. Dog, would you be willing to donate your organs? Patient, yeah. Dr. Dog, and your bones? My bones, why? Dr. Dog, mouth watering, just to answer the question. I think if Bear was here, he would play the same game. By the way, Bear, Dan, can, are you tied to anything real quick? Can you throw me that giant bone? <laughs> just to put it in perspective for people. This is Bear's bone. Look at this thing in comparison to my face, to my body. <laughs> It's bigger than my head and neck. He loves this. Look at him, he's coming. You heard me talking about the bone. Don't attack me for the bone. <laughs> Look, it's bigger than him. What's up? Look at this giant little noof. Do you hear his breath? All right, go get it. The bear has left the building. Well, his tail has it. Gross. That bone smells. <laughs> this eye pun could not be any corny. Why do puns make me so happy? Oh my God. When you ask them if they're just having a seizure, but they just spasm on the ground instead of answering you. All right then, keep your secrets. <laughs> what? I don't get it. What do you mean? When people have a seizure, they can't answer you, buddy. They can't speak, they lose control. That's what a seizure means. I don't get it. Roses are red, let me tell you the scoop. I'm not seeing a doctor unless he's saying pee whoop. Oh! That was a good one. And you should see a doctor, even if they don't say pee whoop, because I don't know many doctors that say pee whoop. If they do, I actually would be kind of concerned. Basically, my entire life during medical school. Shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. <laughs> this is good. When you're in medical school, that is your time to make mistakes. 
if medical students don't make mistakes in medical school, they're gonna try and fail as real doctors and that's gonna become more of a problem. So don't be afraid to speak up as a medical student because if you speak up and you're wrong, I promise you that's gonna stick with you. You're gonna learn that information even better. It looks like your breathing is hampered. <laughs> and then he's looking at the x-ray, there's a hamper on it. I wouldn't ever use the term as a doctor as your breathing is being hampered while looking at an x-ray. I might do that while listening, but still hampered is a weird term. This is bad, but I actually wear this. We really need Dr. Mike merch. <laughs> you have Dr. Mike here and banks open on Tuesday, folks. Banks open on Tuesdays, folks. Dr. Ian sent you a request. Hey, sweetie, see you soon. <laughs> Oh my God. You know what's weird? Not only are individuals stealing this, companies are stealing my image to promote their stuff. Stop it. Oh, this is a Dr. Mike Reddit. Welcome. A while back, I made Bear his own logo, so there's that. It's probably really dumb. No, it's so cute. But what is DB? Da Bear? Dr. Bear? Aw. You think I should get him like a little ID badge if he comes to the hospital that says Dr. Bear? By the way, this logo is amazing. I'm gonna put it on his profile on his story, if you're cool with it, but you have to be cool with it. Giving essential oils to someone with four broken bones and a terminal disease. <laughs> is this the guy from Ghostbusters? It looks like Ghostbusters, they have that little kit. I'm not mad at the essential oils community. I'm a little mad at them, but only because there's some validity in what they're saying. I got a massage the other day. It was a Thai massage, it was spectacular. By the way, if you never had one, highly recommended. Not as medical advice, just as a person to person type thing. When I got the massage, the massage therapist put some lavender essential oil around me. It helped me relax. I enjoyed the smell. Did it cure some of my medical ailments? Absolutely not. Did it cure my bones? No, and it won't. So let's be honest and battle this misinformation together. Duck, you're kind of like a honeybee. Little girl, why, because I'm sweet? No, because you're dying at an alarming rate. Oh my God. These memes are straight burns today. How EMS administers Narcan in Southern Indiana. Oh, let's take out Southern Indiana from there. But I, I understand that there's areas where there's high need of Narcan use because people are ODing from opioids. Narcan is the reversal agent to an opioid overdose. Med school gunners be like, cut them into circles and replace your classmates' contact lenses. <laughs> whoa, whoa, calm down, Satan. For those of you who may not know, gunners are medical students who are so eager to be at the top of the class and be looked at by the senior doctors as the best that they'll sabotage anyone in their way. Whether that makes them look bad, whether that means they're gonna cheat to get some answers. Or in this case, they're gonna cut up Listerine strips and stick them in people's eyes. That's gonna burn. And it's not healthy. Assault? You need to teach them early. Doctor, we got a code moose. Just compressions, just compressions, just compressions. Just compressions, just compressions, just compressions. Oh, that's the cutest video ever. Oh my God, I hope the person who gave this clip to us on my Reddit is actually the person who is the parent or guardian of that baby because I can't use it unless they gave us explicit right to use it. When the resident tries to give you an easy patient. <laughs> Med student, no. There is no such thing as an easy patient. They may be easier patients, but there's no such thing as an easy patient. Every human being is interesting, is important. We need to learn how to communicate better as doctors. So if a patient has a simple condition, like the cold or the flu that we know how to manage, use that opportunity to learn about them as a human. So we can give them holistic care. We can figure out what they're doing that's unhealthy in their habits that could prevent them from catching the flu next time. Think primary. Me planning my funeral after Googling my <laughs> symptoms. Yo, the doctor versus Google series is lit. You gotta watch it. But seriously, like if you go on Google, it'll take you down a weird trail, not only about you're really sick and maybe you've got cancer and stuff, but also like crazy remedies that don't work and are actually super unhealthy. See a real doctor, one who's board certified. Nobody will make fun of your legs if you don't work out the upper body either. <laughs> Work out both of your body parts. Why both? Work out the upper body and lower body. In fact, my go-to workout is an upper lower split where it's like a four day split. You do upper A, lower A, upper B, lower B. Actually, I wanna show you that. Oh my God, is it challenge time? Is it challenge time? Yes, it is. 100,000 likes on this video, you're gonna get my workout routine. 
I feel like I'm selling you something, but I'm not selling you anything except the fact that I want you to come with me to the gym. If you want me to come, if you want to come with me to the gym, drop it down below in the comments, get it to 100,000 likes. If you do it, you're coming with me to work out. You're gonna see me get my gains, upper and lower gains. Yeah. If you love memes, click here for this memes playlist. If you wanna see me in action in the hospital, click this video here and we can be healthy and happy together. State your name. Bibbin dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again.